they see how easy it is for them just to just to drag one vertex and measure. When they do the animation and then the triangle moves and the measurements are being on the side and they, they see the constant, it's just awesome, awesome for them to do that. But in terms of developing conceptual understanding, it is different when you tell a kid, oh, the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180, when they actually manipulating a triangle and having the measurement there, they don't forget because it's, they're not told, they just go there and measure, and then they draw the, the, their own conclusions. The kids love it. It is motivating to them, and we know that anytime kids are motivated to learn, they remember better, they understand at a deeper conceptual level. Many of them will go on and use the Explore Mores, and they will learn something, and then we'll come back to the classroom, or we'll all gather around their computer screen, and um, they get so excited calling their classmates over and saying, look, not only did I find that the exterior angles of a polygon equaled 360, I found that I can use this dilate tool and I can bring the entire figure into a central point and I can show everyone why it's 360 degrees. Like you can morph the shapes instead of having to erase on pencil and paper and draw a shape a different way, you can morph it by clicking on one point and dragging it to anywhere you want it to be. If I wanted to make this whole side of the kite shorter, I could click on a point and drag it and it would uh, like scrunch up the shape instead of having to erase it and draw new lines on a pencil and paper. You're, you're a lot less limited. They really had to reason their way into what exactly are the rules that a rectangle follows. And it was much more substantive for them. It was a much more lasting kind of lesson. Okay. Oh, just down. Parallel line. I think we need to and then we need well, to like, make an intersection one of these and make this. So select all the lines. Make a parallel line. They love to explore. They like to make things happen. And Sketchpad lets them do all that exploring, discovering, and have an infinite number of examples of whatever they're investigating at the time. Sketchpad has, has changed the fact that now I let the students discover the geometry that's out there. I don't have to tell them. It's theirs. They own it. As long as you keep, keep it in the um, computer as a sketch file, you can check it again and again. And also, as I construct it on here, it's much more clear. Children ask questions that lead them to be taught more, that I'm not always designing the lesson for them with my goals in mind, but they'll say, can I do this? How can I do that? It changed the level of questioning that we had in the classroom. Instead of what is, we could talk about how does this behave when you move something in a certain way. And it's a completely different level of, of investigation when, you start, when you're doing that. The visual, I think, helps a student learn it better, like a lot better, actually. The more we can give them in terms of experience, in terms of color and movement, the more they can see the result of what it is they're, they're doing when they're, when they're uh, tracing points and when they're changing a variable. I believe that that dynamic makes up for a lot of time that's spent repeating things at a whiteboard or some other medium. Well, they can see the angles change, like when we're on the triangles unit. Um, once you like make a side bigger or smaller, you can see the angle actually change as you do it. So you can see the relationships a lot easier. We had one exercise this year which dealt with all of the special quadrilaterals, and I gave them a week, basically, to do a six-page project on investigating all of the conjectures of, this, of, the, uh, of the special quadrilaterals and, and to write all the conjectures and to make the measurements to support all of those conjectures. Uh, and they all submitted it on time and, and did an excellent job at, at, uh, at completing that. And that was augmenting the work that they had done in class. The test the following week and they did fine on the test. For the most part, they all had great grades because they understood you know, they had done each of the conjectures three different ways. Uh, I had lectured to them on them. They had investigated in class by some measurements, and then they did it on Sketchpad on their own. So I think they did, uh, you know, it helps to understand that. I guess really the bottom line is that are we making more progress with the kids? This is a school year from where we first started using Sketchpad. And so 
It asks, did you make your annual yearly progress in categories? Well, we didn't make it for all students. We didn't make it with black students, Hispanic students, and uh, limited English proficiency students. Or, and in general, we didn't make it. But in our second year of having it, all of a sudden, we started making it in almost all of the categories. But in the last two years, this is certainly uh, this is certainly after a while of having Sketchpad on a regular basis being used by a lot of the kids in the school. You can see we started making it in all categories. And we're talking about the black or African American category, the Hispanic or Latino category, uh, the students with disabilities category, the special ed kids we were meeting, and even with economically disadvantaged kids we were able and that's with testing almost all of the kids. So, you know, we were really, after, after several years of, it, of using Sketchpad, we really wound up closing the achievement gap. One of the things I like about it is something as simple as a triangle. You visually see the angles changing. So, whereas the three angles in a triangle end up to 180 degrees, you see the individual angles changing. One's getting bigger as one's getting smaller to incorporate that. And it's visual, you can see it. As opposed to me being a special education teacher, physically write each and every triangle. It's excellent. They can all eventually get to the same goal, even though they go about it differently. It might be just modifications to the lab itself. It might be having students do the explore more. It might be having them work together in groups. It really puts the student at the center of his own learning and, and keeps the subject fresh for me as well. One time showed a sketch in which they had a, a right triangle drawn and on the sides of the right triangle were teapots. And I thought, you know, I had never really thought I'd seen squares built on the sides of a right triangle. And to me, A squared plus B squared equals C squared made sense with squares. I really didn't realize, as a math teacher myself, that it really didn't have to be squares. It could be any similar figures built on the sides of a right triangle. There's just so much for the teacher to, to learn as well as the student. And that keeps me excited and uh, it keeps teaching mathematics fresh. Uh, it allows me uh, to think about new ways of doing things and, and uh, no matter how long you've been teaching uh, you realize you know if you're not you're either getting better or you're, you're getting worse you're just you're not sta you're not standing still and uh, as long as I'm in the profession I want to continue to get better and, and I think Sketchpad is a tool that allows me to do that.